Sihan Tramel and AJ Weathersby will be walking us through the inward and outward crescent kick. The crescent kick is a lesser use technique that can catch your opponents off guard who aren't familiar with the unconventional movement pattern. This head kick trades the power of a roundhouse for an unorthodox striking angle, as well as lower flexibility requirements for the kicker. This strike also differs from the roundhouse as it uses the outside edge and heel of the foot for the outside crescent, or the arc and heel for the inside crescent. The kicking leg will be straight when at full range. Crescent kick can also be performed with a bent knee at close range. These kicks work well when executed outside of the opponent's peripheral vision, making it hard to see. Outside crescent. Swing your leg inward, flexing your foot to strike with the blade or heel of the foot. Rotate your leg outward, swinging through your target for maximum power. Be sure to follow through the target. Inside crescent. Bring your leg up, flexing your foot with your arc and heel swinging inward. Twist on the ball of your support foot, twisting your kicking leg through your target. Targets are the head and the body. Tips. This kick can be used to slip around an opponent's guard. It can also be used to push down an opponent's hands to follow up with a more powerful strike. It can be performed at closer range than most head kicks. And it's better to execute outside of opponent's lead shoulder because it's harder for them to see.